Hey G Squad, welcome back to Soda. Is it worth it? So, base episode, we got this cool thing here, and pretty what this is is a tempered glass screen protector that you use for a camera. So, for this one in particular, it actually fits for like the Sony ZV E1 that we do have right here for this part. According to what they mentioned, that is what they based on what they mentioned. We'll find out in a second when we do actually test it out. But this is what the package looks like when you guys do get it. Let me actually open it up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So as I do open it up, they do probably a lot of stuff inside. So they do probably guys three wet wipes and three dry wipes for it to use. Since it is a three pack, they do probably guys three dust absorber tape that you use. They do probably guys these leveler options that you use for the hot shoe when you guys do use it. So that way you can check whether or not your camera is leveled when you guys do use it, which is pretty cool. Next to inside right here, they do probably guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set up and how to use it. And then last but not least, we do have the glass screen protector. And we do have a three pack like I mentioned. All three of these are the same thing. So let's take out one of them to show you guys what she looks like. So once you guys do take it out, this is what it looks like. So once you guys apply the wet wipe and dry wipe, you guys can actually apply this on after you guys do use the dust absorber tape as well. And pretty much where you guys want to put it is right here in the back. You can see how it fits on there perfectly. And like I mentioned, material is on here. It is a tempered glass, so it's actually very high quality. We're giving you guys like a rare resistant, scratch resistant, and also the anti fingerprint from what I understand as well. And supposedly after you guys do apply it on, nothing should be affected in terms of the sensitivity on the screen. You guys can still use it for the touchscreen option if you guys do need to. And everything can be still very clear when you guys do use it. And that is pretty much everything that's included in the package. What I do right now is to bring this over to the table and show you guys how to install it. And we'll also show you guys how to use the leveler option to give you guys an idea of what it actually looks like if you guys were to use it. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so right here we do have everything all set up. So before I actually install it, I do want to show you guys how to use the leveler first. So literally all you need to do is take out the hot shoe on camera. And you want to insert this in. So once you guys insert it in, you can see right here, we do have the hot shoe inside right here for the leveler option. So once you guys move it around, it will help you guys level on here so that way you guys know the camera is uh, balanced or not. So that is pretty much how you guys use it. And since it is a hot shoe design, you can feel free to take it out. Very easy and very simple, let me see. But now let me show you guys how to install the actual screen or the glass protector. So first thing I want to do is use the wet wipe right here to wipe it down to make sure it's clean before you have to apply it. All right, that should be good. Let's get a dry wipe to wipe it down. That should be good. Once you guys finish that, you guys can get the dust absorber tape to move any dust that's on the screen. So if there isn't any, then you don't have to use it. But just to show you what it actually looks like, just go like this. And if everything looks good, then you guys can take this out and apply it on. All right, so once you guys are ready, peel the back part here and just stick it on. Do it nice and slowly to make sure it fits correctly. So right there should be fine. If it's down, it closes by itself. And feel free to push it down if it doesn't go all the way. Let me wipe down a little bit to make sure it's clean. All right, looks good. So this is what the product looks like once you guys finish installing it. If you guys do turn it on, this is what the screen looks like once you guys do turn it on. So I do tap on here. Everything definitely does work. So nothing's affected when you guys do use it. So even if I do remove the lens, it's all white right now because we don't have my lens on. But we see how when we do install it, it definitely does work. So the touchscreen option still works on your screen. And everything on here definitely looks very clear when you guys do use it. So very easy and very simple for you to assemble the glass screen protector on. And also to use the leveler option for the hot shoe option right here. Welcome back guys. So nice real quick test of product and that means actually does work and she works quite well. If you see the whole installation process is not that hard, it's actually much easier compared to when you guys do install like your phone glass screen protector. Literally all you need to do is just wipe it down with a wet wipe, dry wipe, use the dust absorber tape if there's any dust. Once you guys do all of that, then you just stick it on, just like how I showed you in the video. And once you guys do apply it on, you can see nothing's affected like I mentioned, it's still very high quality and you do have the extra protection layer on there. And also the touch sensitivity on here, it doesn't get affected when you guys do use it, which is even more awesome. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. If you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality glass protector to use for a camera 
whether if you guys want to use it for this camera or any other Sony camera or any other camera that's compatible with the same size that I do get for this one, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have been wanting these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.